Ooh. Hi everyone, welcome to my Thurman session number 10. I'm Carolina and today I wanted to perform some music for you which is related to space. Also, I will answer some of your questions which you asked me recently. Sometimes when I'm not feeling well or I have troubles, then I look up in the sky and I see all these very old and wise planets and then I imagine how they can see us and how they are probably far too relaxed to even care what we are doing or they find all our problems very silly because our time is so short and when we are dead they will probably still be there. So this sometimes helps me to see things from a bigger perspective and then I can finally do what makes me happy again and hopefully others as well. So recently, Vincent Becker from France sent me a link to a very interesting recording. It's a comet which is singing into space. So you can actually hear the interaction between the comet's atmosphere and the solar wind, which creates a fluctuating magnetic field. So if you want, it's a cosmic-sized theremin. I will leave more information about it in the description box. Now I will improvise around the sound of the comet. Today I also wanted to answer some questions which you recently asked me. So um, here's the first question by LOS2. Thanks for your great videos. I have a non-musical question. Please can you tell in one of your next sessions something about these nice background frames, canvases? They look very nice. Is it your own artwork? First of all, thank you very much. Yes, I do paint these um, paintings myself. Um, I actually like to combine colors and music because in music I actually see colors, so 
there could be a green node flying around or red cords or something. So I really like to combine these two things. Since I made the series, I added one layer of paint for every video. Here's the next question by Gnupixello. I know this is quite unfair comparison, but how do you compare the Theramini with the MUQ you usually play? It's hard to compare the Theramini with the Etherwave Pro or Etherwave Standard. I think all of the Theramins have different approaches. With the Etherwave Pro I can play really really challenging classical music. With the Etherwave Standard, with a pitch extension module by Thierry Frankel, you can also play great classical music. The Theramini I would use if I wanted to mess around with sounds or soundscapes and if I wanted to play simple melodies. Or even if I wanted to go to a party and take the Theramini with me, um, it has an inbuilt speaker which is pretty convenient. And there's another question by Marcello Vidorete. Loved it, but I believe that the antennas of the model are very short and does this cute rabbit have a name? So yes, the antennas of the Thereminis are very short, so it's a little difficult to have a good posture when you're playing down here. And yes, this cute bunny has a name. She's called Momo and she has the best ears in the whole world. Thank you for watching this video today. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like then send me more suggestions for improvisations. I'm now going to play an improvisation on a simulation of the so-called giant impact hypothesis. You can look that up in the description box. I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye bye.